Hello everyone, this is Mr. Informal back with another content. This time it's not an episode review, but it is an observation and analysis of Vegeta fighting or Vegeta fight in the future Trunks saga of Dragon Ball Super. First and foremost, let me go back to the past. If you watch Dragon Ball Z, you will see Vegeta in the Saiyan Saga, in the Frieza Saga, in the Cell Saga. I'm not even going to talk about Buu Saga here, okay? Because everyone goes back to the Saiyan Saga, Frieza Saga, and so the Cell Saga Vegeta. First and foremost, in the Saiyan Saga, you know Vegeta is quick to kill. He's quick-minded. He already has a plan. He knows how to counteract attacks. Even in the Frieza Saga, we saw him kill uh, Goldo, we saw him going at it with Raccoon, we saw going at it with Jace, we saw going at it with basically the whole Ginyu Force and everybody else in the planet Namek. Then we moved to the Android, we moved to the Cell Fight, so we know when it comes to fighting and also strategies, he's the best. I think he's better than Piccolo when it comes to killing off somebody really quick. He's a hitman. He's an assassin. I mean, that's what he does. That's what that's what his job description was when he was working with for Frieza. And so, since, with that recap, now I have a big problem with Vegeta fighting style in Dragon Ball Super. I'm a Vegeta fan, but I'm not gonna lie. There's times when he does stupid things. And I'm just one of those ones that are honest and willing to admit that Vegeta has his faults. But in the latest Dragon Ball Super 62, which I did talk about it a little bit, and I'll leave and I'll leave a link or I'll leave a note in this video. When Trunks was fighting off Zamasu and Black Goku alone, Vegeta was just watching, and then when he did had his opportunity when Zamasu went down and Vegeta told him oh I'm not gonna let you go two and one with Trunks I don't understand why Vegeta just couldn't just attack him right there and then and I know Zamasu is immortal but Vegeta usually when he has the advantage he actually sneaks in and kills it or kills that person that's what he did with Goldo that's what he did with the Ginyu Force and I didn't understand. Not only that, when he was cornered between Black and Zamasu, he was just watching. He didn't know how to counteract and it kills me seeing that because he's basically just standing there or being on the standby, not knowing what to do. I don't know what it's in his head. Not only that, when here's the surprising part. When Trunks was I mean when Black had the advantage for in um with the one-on-one -on -one fight with Trunks and Goku uh, in Zama uh, Black Goku. I'm sorry. V uh, and Trunks was uh, going down. Vegeta goes in for help, and he didn't realize that he had somebody there about you know fighting him. That's not his style. His style is usually okay. I go one on one. I'm not helping nobody. I'm only helping myself and I know for a fact that the other person is uh, is going to take care of himself but this time he did it he went to help Trunks and obviously he got kicked by Zamasu and he didn't even know somebody else was there that's not his style and it kills me to see him that way because like I said based on his history and fighting style he finishes up he finished off the job first before going to somebody for help or actually moving on to the next opponent. And not only that, if you watch the Saiyan saga with Goku using the Kaioken, he has counter attacks. He has counter movements to counter attacks the opponent. But he just again he's not Look, I think it may be his training, maybe the lack of fighting with 
uh, recent episode where he doesn't get to fight with stronger opponents but as a soldier not only that he he has experience experience with multiple fighting styles multiple opponents he should know better and I may be the only one here I'm not sure what's going on with the creators I'm not sure what's going on with Akira Toriyama but I can tell you right now that in terms of fighting and fighting style this is not the Vegeta I know yes there have been a huge developments character developments with Vegeta but that's personally and that's emotionally but physically in fighting there hasn't been a strong development with him and as a soldier as a person who has experienced so many battles more battles than anybody in the Z warriors alone I can tell you that right now Vegeta has the more fighting experience not only that he has seen more fighting stars than anybody in Dragon Ball Z alone maybe other than Frieza but you know he's gone but we're just talking about Z warriors alone he is the one he should know how to counter attacks any opponent's movement I mean I'm surprised as you can tell from the cell from the androids from the Ginyu saga even from Frieza even with Goku I mean he he uses those skills to take advantage of his opponent but in this case he just hasn't now the Dragon Ball Super episode 63 title is Vegeta's intense battle now I'm gonna go see what's that all about and I cannot wait what the creators shows with Vegeta in this case but for now that is my observation and analysis of Vegeta fights in the trunk saga of Dragon Ball Super I'm a bit disappointed because it's not his style and it's not something that he usually does there's something off with this guy yes he's trying to protect his son from the future but it's not the same Vegeta when it comes to fighting people and so that concludes it I appreciate all of you listening to me and if you have any comments if you're a Vegeta fan I'm sure you're disappointed leave a comment down below alright I will see you in the next one